Hello. Ever take a close look at your bathroom and think it needs a total makeover? And then you think about the time, the money and all the mess it involves and then it all becomes too hard? Well, if you're at that stage, you've probably got the bathroom blues. Well, don't despair, you might like to consider a cosmetic bathroom makeover. Far be it from being a compromise. I reckon if you plan it well, you can still get some incredible results for very little investment. As always, I am on a pretty tight budget, but I reckon if I shop smart, I can still get the look I want. Now, beautiful oak timber like this, so on trend, at only 40 bucks a panel. Just wait till you see what I do with this. It's gonna be great. Using the oak panel as my theme, I reckon I can put a few of these to good use as well. I think I might go for full rounds and half rounds too. It all comes down to the little tips and tricks, and I've got so many to show you, I reckon at least one of them is bound to apply to your place. This is such a great bathroom for a cosmetic makeover. There are so many pluses. Sure, there are a few minuses, but let's start with the pros. For a start, it is huge. I mean, there are not many bathrooms you can go from wall to wall like this in. The floor, it's over 20 years old, but it still looks so good, so clean. So we're gonna work with that. The wall tiles, they're brilliant. There aren't any loose ones. The grout all looks in great condition. The other thing I really love, Carrera marble on the vanity bench. This is so desirable these days, so I'm gonna keep that, but I will update down here. Now, a few things on the minus list. Well, the cistern, it's gone yellow over time, but that's normal, we can work with that. All of the fittings, we can change them, but all in all, nothing too difficult. This job's gonna be a doddle. Yeah, I reckon they had their money's worth out of these. Be gone, old shower shelf. Taking off the end panel. Something secret planned for that suit. If your bathroom vanity doors are in pretty good condition, i.e. they're not peeling, there's a couple of ways that you can actually jazz them up to give them a more modern twist. Now, you could just simply add new handles or you could paint them. But my idea here is to use half round moulded trim, cut to length and then attached all across the face of the door to create a ribbed look. And you can see it's actually given us a bespoke kind of cabinet maker feel. Now this is going to set the tone for the whole bathroom. So as you can see we're going for fresh, modern and natural. Most people think that ceilings have to be white, but in actual fact they don't. You can add colour up here instead of on the walls. And I'm using this beautiful soft blue, it's called elusive blue, up top. Just to make it fresh, almost skylight, very relaxing. The yellowing plastic on the old toilet system really does date it, but this is still in perfect working condition. It just looks a bit grubby. So luckily, all I need to do, instead of replacing the whole thing, is give it a light sand, then it's on with a plastic primer, and then the top coat. I've gone for white, so it's gonna look fresh and new. The window frame's also getting a fresh new look. To replace the old plastic towel rails, we've chosen to use this really nice looking wooden dowel with black bracket combination instead. Now the great news is we can actually reuse the existing holes from the old brackets, but I do need to have a second one. Now a lot of people get really scared to actually drill into tiles, so there is a little tip. Just make sure you get one of these. It's a ceramic drill bit. They come in all different sizes. Now this point will actually kind of dig into the tile itself. Then you can replace it with an ordinary size drill bit without doing any damage. So don't be scared, give it a go. That's it. Very nice. We can't afford to replace the shower screen, but I'm going to touch up the frame with paint. It's essential to use a metal primer so the top coat sticks. One of my favourite materials to use in kitchens and bathrooms is Carrera marble. I've actually got this on my bench tops at home. Now the downside of it is it's 
porous and it does tend to stain, especially over the years. Now this one is probably about 20 years old and as you can see where the soap has been, you get these dark brown stains. That's the fat from the soap and it just kind of leaches in this stain. So I'm using a slightly unorthodox method of pure chlorine to try and lighten these stains. I don't think I'm going to remove them all together but if I can just fade them out a bit, I think it's going to make the world of difference. Bathrooms have so many hard edges, it's nice to sort of soften things wherever you can. So I want to add some shelves to the wall with some decorative touches and also some plants that tumble down. But instead of these sharp corners, I'm going to round them off, so I'll show you that in a minute. What I've done here is actually taken a finger jointed oak panel which you can buy off the shelf like this from Bunnings and I've just split it down the middle. So that's a really good value because that means you actually get two shelves out of the one. Using a paint can as a guide, then a jigsaw, I'm giving the corners a rounded look. I'm also fixing a bracket at the back, which will enable us to attach the shelf to the wall. So if you're wondering about price, all up, each of these shelves cost around $35. That's pretty affordable. Hand-built timber shelves, can't beat that. A really great way to jazz up an old vanity unit like this is to replace the end panels. I'm using exactly the same material as I used for the shelves, that way the whole thing will tie together. And these just simply sit in place and you just screw it off from the inside so you don't see any screw heads and it gives you a nice, neat and very modern finish. So I dressed up these old vanity doors. Should we see what they look like? Ah, has to be one of the best cover-ups in the business. Around the top of the tiles, I'm continuing the theme of the wooden trim. Touches like this really do bring the look together. Things you have to do when you work solo. to admit I'm not really a big fan of toilets in open plan bathrooms. I tend to prefer to keep things separate. So if you've got one and you actually want to hide it away, you can always build yourself a very simple room divider or a screen if you like. It's a pretty simple process. It's basically a base plate. What I've done here is I've pre-drilled and just countersunk. That way things will be nice and neat. And the type of timber that I've chosen, again, to go in with my half rounds on the vanity, I've got full rounds here. You just glue and screw it end to end. Now the top section is slightly more tricky. I just have to put glue to each of the poles and then screw in the screws part way just to locate them before I fix it all off. No floor is absolutely level, especially a bathroom floor. So what I'm adding here are legs which can be adjusted accordingly. That's all there is to it. Now I've just got to get it inside. Ooh, <laughs> I might need some help. <laughs> Time to conquer and divide. Yep, the new timber look is coming along nicely. A cosmetic bathroom makeover is all about making the most of what you've got without the big spend or the big mess. So for us, one big spend area would be the whole shower screen setup. I mean, really, it's opening a can of worms if we touch that. The shower screen itself is actually serving the purpose. It's perfectly fine. It's just a little on the ugly side. So to disguise it, we're building yet another screen in the room. Only this one is really clever because it doubles as a towel rail. The construction is pretty much the same as the other screen. Instead, the rounds run horizontally and the gaps between the runs varies. This is to allow space to hang the towels. OK, well, I say the proof is in the pudding. Let's have a look. Well, it's certainly sturdy and robust. Oh, look at that. It's the loveliest ladder I reckon I've made today. It's such a good ladder. Great for the towels. And look how well it disguises this tired old shower screen. It's a really good addition to this room. Having a corner sink in this bathroom means situating a new mirror was always going to be awkward. You're either going to have it on that wall or on that wall. So what we've done is compromised by using a TV bracket on the back of a new mirror. Look at that, the perfect angle, slightly adjustable and a good size, and being black, it ties in well with the taps. A nice modern look. New white blinds with a fresh white window sill. Looks like a brand new window. 
When you dress the room, that's where you can get really creative because not everything should be used as it's originally intended. This is a garden bench and it works so well here in the bathroom. We've added an extra shelf just using some leftover oak and now we've got storage underneath. A great little place to sit and dry your feet. And storage for your towels. I think it gives it that real day spa feel, don't you? It's so amazing how a few subtle changes can make a huge difference to the look of your tired old bathroom. And we haven't spent a lot of money on the fitting either. And I'm loving the greenery in here. So if your bathroom is giving you the blues, hopefully this has given you just a little bit of inspiration. Any one of these ideas could work for you. So why not give them a go? Hope you're feeling inspired. <laughs>